The Centrify Privileged Access Service already includes a workflow engine that can respond to requests for access to check out a vaulted account password for a server or network device or to request login to that resource. However, many of our customers are using ServiceNow as their online cloud-based IT management solution. They would prefer to use it as a one-stop shop for issuing trouble tickets, requesting access, and approving such requests driven from the ServiceNow workflow. We've accommodated this model at Centrify by integrating directly with ServiceNow, enabling our customers to fulfill that requirement. Let's see a demonstration of this now. Okay, so I'm going to navigate first to the ServiceNow store. I'll enter Centrify in the search field, and there you see the specific application we're looking for, Centrify Privileged Access Request. If you click on that, it'll take you to a screen describing the app in more detail. All you need to do is click on the Get button in the corner, and after you authenticate with your ServiceNow high credentials, the module will be available to use in your ServiceNow tenant. Here we are logged into ServiceNow. In the menu on the left, you see the Centrify Privileged Access Request app. Let's begin by impersonating the requester. We click on the Impersonation button and select the requester account from the list. Now that we're logged in as the requester, I'll bring up my favorites and select the service catalog, through which I'll navigate to the request options by clicking on software. We scroll down and at the bottom, we see Centrify Privileged Access Request. Let's click on that link and finally we click on the Centrify icon. That gives us a screen that will allow us to request the access we need. So the resource I want to request access to is the CentOS One box. I want to log in with the root account, so I'll select that from the list. And again, I have the option of requesting login or password checkout. I enter justification for the approver, and finally place this request on order. Now on this screen, we see the stage of the request. As you can see, it's waiting for approval. That's the next step. So let's now impersonate the approver and complete that step. I'll select the approver from the list. Now that I'm logged in, I'll select my group's approvals from the menu, and at the top of the list is the request that we just made. Let's open that up and we can see the context of that request. First of all, I'm going to assign it to myself so I can process it. We'll select yes from the approval dropdown. We'll grant temporary access, which is a best practice to time box privileged access rather than grant standing privileges. We'll grant access for 10 minutes. Now we'll close the task, which effectively completes that workflow. Let's pop back over to the requester for a second, just to look at the workflow behind this request. We'll select My Requests from the menu. We'll filter on all requests and pick the latest one at the top, which is the one that we just processed. Clicking on the description opens up the request. There's a Show Workflow link at the bottom, so we'll click on that, and what we end up with is a visualization of the workflow steps and the flow. Now, as the requester, I'll go back and check my email for a notification of completion. As you see, the email has an embedded link that was put there by Centrify. If I click on that, it will open up a secure remote login session to the CentOS One server logged in as root. There's my UID, and there's the hostname for verification. So there we've seen a very simple way of leveraging the ServiceNow UI and workflow to request and approve login access fulfilled by the Centrify Privileged Access Service.